Hi there, my fellow Sagittarius, and welcome to your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, I'm doing just a very quick video for the month of July for each and every sign, and I'm doing things a little bit of differently, wherein I'm just checking in with the energies in place. Um, for the month so this is not greatly going to be very much in depth but it's going to give us the idea on how the month is might be influencing us and it might help us you and me and you know for anyone who watches this video on how maybe to navigate the month of July onwards now I do apologize for the late uploads on my following July videos because I'm having really a hard time to speak even at this time so please do bear with me I do have some issues right now with my health and my vocal cords and stuff so um yeah um uh, without any further ado, I just want to get straight into the reading. Let me just move the astro dice over here. Okay, so as you all know, just seeing the three cards we have here, we have the Five of Cups as the first card of the reading, already giving us that um, energy we're in. You know, this can be a very emotional month and quite chaotic and quite explosive all at the same time especially that we do have the tower card all in the mix and this can be you know be a situation wherein you are just being drowning in depression or thinking about um things that might not be really important right now it could be something that you know that has already occurred in the past Whatever it may be, you know, it could be something that is not really significant in your present life or in your future. It could be that you're just wallowing in pity or um, feeling your emotions in a very extreme way, which can be very unhealthy once it goes overboard not to mention that we do also have the clouds over here starting with our lenormand card giving a lot of confusion in the air now because it's with together with the rider over here and the and the the dog card this is giving me a situation wherein someone is either confused with a uh, with a connection or companion it could be with a friend and maybe it is leading to some form of depression because it's with the tree over here either way there is some form of depression and confusion going on here and this could be the month wherein you may be wanting to drive over to cut off and to find clarity to something that is already confusing you and maybe that the path that occurs for you or for whatever decision that you make during this time it could be quite thorny or it quite it's quite of a struggle it's not something that's very easy if anything really happens for you and for the, your relationship or whatever situation you're going through it will come off as a, as a surprise and maybe it was meant to happen maybe it was not meant to happen but um i would just say that things can go o overhand you know th that kind of thing wherein it's uncontrollable but at the same time this could be a situation wherein you cannot you cannot hide you cannot pretend you cannot cover up things anymore you cannot just you know have them being built up inside of you because it's becoming too toxic thus this is you know making you wanting to break free or it could be a situation wherein you needed to break free or the situation needs to be shattered and break free from its change its chain so um there is some form of situation like that um um I would say though that this could be a situation wherein you know improvement is in the air this could be a situation wherein 
you might improve something because something is not working out anymore. This is not about a situation that involves a new beginning. This is about resolving issues and resolving problems and maybe unexpected problems all at the same time. This can also be a situation wherein you, you close off to, to opportunities or you close off to doing forward action kind of thing in your life and you, you focus on isolation and you focus on yourself. Maybe you're trying to find answers within, within you. That, qu that quite, quite of a situation. Now remember that we have the sun here activating the 12th house in the sign of Leo. And Leo in the 12th house is not really very happy, you know. Because Leo wants to shine. Leo rules the 5th house. Which is all about fun and laughter and all of that. And in the 12th house, it's like someone is sick. So there could be a situation that is very similar to this. Another way that this can represent is that it could be a situation wherein you might feel that you are being blocked. There are problems that are showing up in your plate right now. Some It's not really a very peaceful um, situation and this is not a very peaceful reading all at the same time because the energy that I'm getting here is that you are surrounded by problems or right now it's just not your month basically it is a month of burden but at the same time you know you can actually take action to improve that and the size the the ship and the stars all together is giving us that hope but I kind of feel that this could be a situation wherein it's not about you taking action initiatively. Something has to change and it will change gradually whether you like it or not. Whether it's within your plans or not, something is definitely going to change and the change is going to be abrupt. So it has that form of energy. And, but right now, instead of getting lost to depression, instead of getting lost on what to do with this relationship or what to do with this situation, because let's be honest here, um, you might be receiving a news that is quite, it's not something that you can trust or it's not something that's going to be making you happy all the same time. You know, there are going to be questions in the air and there will be. And um, yeah, I guess the best advice that I can give for a lot of the Sagittarius, especially those that are, you know, finding self, finding themselves tuning into this reading, is that this is not the best time for you to be impulsive because definitely you're just going to be making decisions that you are going to change later on. This is the time for you to reevaluate what has already occurred, what has happened in the past, and how you can improve things and not repeat the same cycle over and over again. So um, let's see, um, I forgot to pick my <laughs> oracle cards for the advice for those uh, that are in the sign of Sagittarius for this month of July. Okay, so what we are having here is Archangel Raphael and yeah, we have here Archangel Raphael card and this is about I'm helping you heal physical challenge in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So and then we also have here the card about take your time making this decision. So this is like you know very much a uh, straightforward where it is telling us you know we are trying to resolve a problem here we're trying to resolve any physical you know um, disturbance between you and a certain person maybe maybe there is a distance between you and another person or you know whatever blockages that are happening in your relationships right now it, it is being evaluated maybe it being healed it being worked on but the decisions that you make drastically, um, maybe you need to take a second look on that. Maybe you need to think again. Gives 
yourself time to make a certain decision because right now the energy is very um, erratic explosive and very very emotional and when it comes to making um, solid and right decisions this is really not the best time especially for you uh, because I kind of feel that this is going to be action-packed like very fiery and very watery all at the same time so and uh, it can be out of you know outbursts that kind of energy so it's not really the best time for that so I would say that this is a time to pause a wait and maybe reflect on a few things in your life and that would be my <laughs> message for a lot of you guys Sagittarius rising sun moon <laughs> for this month of July 2020 and thank you for watching and tuning in with me and I'll see you guys again next month